So this demo shows how you can use Ansible Automation Platform as a GitOps tool to manage the lifecycle of a containerized application from a Git repository. In my repository, I have a color web app container playbook that deploys my web app, and it has some environment variables. When I go ahead and modify any of those variables within my group bars all YAML file, it's going to trigger an AAP workflow that is associated with a Git webhook that is part of this AAP demo repository. The workflow consists of doing a project sync and then running a job, which is just running the Ansible container playbook YAML file within my Git repo that triggers the creation of my color web app. So this workflow runs anytime I make a change to the app demo repository. So here to kind of show that, I have this system here where if I do a pseudo podman ps, you can see that there's no uh, containers running, just podman. And if I want to go ahead and launch my color web app, I'll go and make a quick change to my app demo color environment variable in my Git repo. So here I can go here, click here, and we'll change this from blue to green. And then what this is going to do is that it's going to create, uh, immediately it's going to trigger a my demo workflow, which has a job template associated with it, and it's going to run it. Um, once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and check uh, to see if the actual little color uh, changed. And in fact, in this case, you're going to notice that the container itself was created as we had no container uh, to begin with. So as this is running, we can kind of go see the, the output of the job and kind of wait for it to come back. And it's already showed done. So if I go now to my system that it was running on, I can see that this web app is up and running. And if I go ahead and do a check on the environment variables, I can see that the app color green was assigned to the application of my web color. So now let's say I want to make a change to my environment, right? So what we need to do is we need to go back to the all YAML file and say now I want to make it and change it to the color blue. I'll go make my changes to my application, you know, any configuration changes you might have. Immediately when I go and do that, it kicks blue and I can go back to my jobs and you'll see that the workflow has once again kicked off and we're waiting for the job to go and start running. And once the job goes off and starts running, we'll actually see um, that the color now is changing from green to blue. So right now we can tell that the job is running. We're waiting for it to come back. And as we wait, there are the task is coming in to create. And once the task is complete, which I think it is now, let's confirm, it is most definitely complete. We can go off now and look at the demo. And if we check yes here, we can see that we just have, once again, a, the web app color is running and it just started about 15 seconds ago. And if we check the end of it, you can see color blue. So this is a way that you can use Ansible Automation Platform as a GitOps tool to manage the lifecycle of Podman containers.